this bottle until it get hollow. everybody res back here again and as you saw the car is back and it is looking so fresh wet paint the car is looking really good uh, but today we're going to be doing a few uh, installs on the inside the main one being our g racing shifter from keith at g racing or gracing i don't know what you want to call it uh keith is a great guy he runs it he's a Mazda pro driver and he created this shift knob uh, and honestly, it's awesome. You might have seen it on one of TJ Hunt's video. The little bushing that he includes came cracked on mine. Sent me a new one, no problem. Uh, we're also going to be installing some interior trim pieces that I have here because mine are cracked. And then to wrap it all up, we have I'm actually painting out there a 3D printed cup holder because 90s JDM cars, no cup holders. It's like we're going too fast to drink anything out here, is what they thought. But that's what we're gonna go ahead and get into. So let's jump right First thing in. What we're gonna wanna do is obviously remove your shift knob and then this center piece here. Uh, mine, the clips have all broken, so they just kinda, just kinda pops out. So that's the first thing we're gonna do. And I'll set you guys down so you can uh, watch that. And it had this disgusting thing of insulation, which I will be throwing away, because that is disgusting. Then it's just 10 or four 10 mil bolts holding that up so let's go ahead and take those off show you what's underneath so all right so after that we had three more 10 mils uh, that are honestly covered in gunk looks like the rubber melted or some shit but this is gross oh man wow that just popped right out good thing has uh, still has fluid in there uh, but we need to take out any bushings that are in there because it does come with one already so I'll go ahead and do that and then install it and then we'll go from there Cleaned up this area a little bit there, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to install the short shifter. First, you have to take off. I need to take off my uh, bushing that it came with because it came broken, but he did send me a new one after I told him. Uh, there's a zip tie here, and then uh, what you want to do is I think this is going to go. Sorry, you can't see barely, but let me angle this light. This little dot is going to go either forward or backwards, but we'll see how it lines up. But I think it's gonna be forward, so we'll see. Um, so let's get right to that. All right, so it turns out there was a bushing in there, the OEM bushing, I believe, that right there, and I took it out and then it slid right in. Uh, it was already filled with gear oil, so I didn't need to put any more in there, so that was good. Uh, but yeah, then it just takes a little Allen key, tighten it all up, and let's check it out. Oh wow, <laughs> that's nuts. That is ridiculously short. But let's put everything back together now. Racing, G Racing Shifter is in and it is awesome. Check this out. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, and it does not let you go into sixth from fifth, or for, it doesn't let you go to reverse. You have to come to neutral and then you can quit it in reverse. This is friggin' awesome. Super short throws, super excited, super happy with it, honestly. Can't wait to actually get to use it, but uh, yep, that's it for that. Uh, next, we got, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try to put this trim on up the top, because it's all messed up. The car is dirty on the inside. I have not washed it after paint, so we will be doing that as well. It still looks like I'm missing a piece that Clips this in in the middle here. It's being a pain in the ass. Managed to get one in uh, barely, but the other side still no dice. Uh, but I do believe there's a piece missing there, anyways. So I need to figure that out another way. So there's that. And let's go to the most important install of the interior today. Let's check it out. If it's done, I'll show you guys. And are you guys ready for the most important mod? I'll pop it out and then just put it back in for you guys. Well, bam. Right here, this is it. Sorry for the lack of light. Pretty much just a 3D printed piece. I tried sanding it down uh, and then just painting it uh, like a glossy black with clear coat. Make it look a little bit nicer, but it just goes in here. Let's pop it in. And then we'll even test it out with this smallish Wendy's cup. It's perfect. Uh, I'm a big believer that you need a freaking 
cup holder in your car so yeah let's get into the pov driving with the short shifter so it's a whole nother day we got the short shifter in we're gonna go for a drive pov kind of with the with the gopro on and then we'll go from there get some clips of the driving and then i'll show you guys like the cup holder in a little bit and all this other stuff the cup holder definitely worth it eight bucks or whatever i spent on it but go ahead and show you that all right so we're gonna get some clips driving the gopro's dead even though i charged it so we're gonna get make do with what we have of the g racing shifter so focus on the shift knob right here Remember to comment, like, and subscribe. Red out. Yeah, uh, feel me. I might sip out this bottle until it get hollow. Shit, I might sip out this bottle just drown in my sorrows. Drown in my sorrows, be better tomorrow. Cause these broken dreams is as hard as it gets. My nigga died at only 25. I'm thanking God for letting me see in 26. Shit. Real shit, nigga. Nigga, that's real shit.